At the heart of each bore repair system integrated solution is the BOA 408i bore welder. Versatile, indestructible, simple to learn, and easy to use all describe the 408i. The 408i seamlessly integrates with many of Bore Repair's boring bar systems or adapts to a boring bar you already own with one of Bore Repair System's boring bar bearing interface kits. And with a wide variety of accessories available, the 408i is capable of performing internal diameter welds, face welds, and outside diameter welds. Add a boring bar system and the 408i's capabilities increase. Options are available for standard boring systems that enable face machining, large diameter machining, and the machining of internal snap ring grooves. Bore Repair Systems works hard to make your job easier. Bore also supplies a comprehensive line of bore measurement and tool adjustment devices available as accessories for their boring bar systems. Whatever your bore welding or machining application may be, the BOA 408i can be configured to handle bore diameters from 8 tenths of an inch to 48 inches. The large selection of mounting, machining, and torch options and accessories make the 408i the must-have system where bore repairs are needed. The basic 408i bore welding system comes standard with a tack plate which will allow you to support the bore welder using the machine support tube. Centering the BOA 408i bore welder is easily achieved by using your inch and a quarter boring bar or the optional centering tube and cone kit. An optional adjustable T-base also offers an easy, versatile means for mounting your 408i to a wide variety of jobs. Bore Repair Systems also offers a variety of direct bore welder to boring bar support kits which further simplify setup and operation. For the purpose of demonstration, we will show the centering procedure for the EV boring bar using centering cones. In this case, the tack nuts and boring bar, as well as the welder supports, have already been spot welded into place on the bucket. To begin, insert the boring bar through one bore hole. Slide the centering cones, locking collars, and expansion assembly into place. Slide the boring bar through the other bore. Make sure the boring bar extends far enough through the bores to reach the other support. Slide the right hand centering cone and locking collar into place. Tighten the locking collar. As you lift and position the boring bar, slide the second cone as firmly into place as you can. Tighten the locking collar, then the expansion assembly until the cones are firmly seated within the bores. Next, slide the machine support and bar support bearing assemblies over the end of the boring bar and into place adjacent to the support plates previously tack welded into place. Loosen the centering cone locking collars and slide the cones and collars together. Slide the boring bar far enough out of the machine support assembly so that you're able to remove the cones and collar assemblies. Remove the boring bar insert from the machine support assembly. Mount the boring bar drive gearbox to the machine support and tighten the clamping hex nut. Slide the boring bar back through the bores and through the bar drive gearbox assembly. At this point, the optional center support for longer spans may be tack welded in place. The reversible bearing mount feature provides additional boring bar support. The boring bar is then slid back into the boring bar drive unit. If the bar does not slide easily through the drive unit, the bar support can be fine-tuned with the adjustment bolts. Install the boring bar drive unit, tighten it in place, and tighten the feed arm clamp. Install the tool bit in a tool port in the boring bar adjacent to the bore to be machined. Adjust the tool bit height for the first pass of machining. Start the boring bar drive motor. Engage the feed clutch and adjust the feed rate. Slowly increase the rotational speed. Periodically add small amounts of machining oil.
With the pre-machining operation complete, setting up for bore welding is easy. Slide the boring bar out of the welder support assembly. Remove the boring bar insert. Insert and tighten the center support sleeve into the welder support assembly. Insert the 408i into the center support and tighten in place. Slide the telescoping torch tube into place and connect the torch. Adjust the torch tube to allow adequate torch travel on the bore to be welded. With the torch angle lock loosened, adjust the torch for correct nozzle standoff. Tighten the torch, then position it for optimal axial travel. Connect the conduit weld pendant into the torch tube and plug in the AC power cord. You're ready to weld. Turn on the 408i and hit start on the weld pendant. Then watch as Bohr Repair Systems BOA 408i lays down a consistently even, high quality weld surface. The BOA 408i from Bohr Repair Systems will save you time and money. Users report up to a 70% time savings on welding operations and a 50% time savings on machining. Features like the quick release clutch system and the telescoping torch extensions have you up and welding in minutes, not hours. Combining the BOA 408i with a bore repair boring bar system creates a package that will pay for itself many times over in time and dollar savings. If you're ready to step up to one of bore repair systems integrated solutions, contact us today.